Hi traders, how's it going? Uh, just thought I'd put on the video. We haven't done a video for a while. We've just come out of a rough uh, summer trading season. We're currently sitting here on Tuesday uh, in the first half of the Asia session here. So planning out the day. Um, first, I'd like to look at the pound New Zealand dollar. And I think there's a significant technical event that's occurred here. And I'll just walk you through that. So I've got a line marked through here. And uh, let me just put, I don't use trend lines very much, but just to illustrate what's going on, uh, I will put the trend line here. So we've had this pound uh, New Zealand dollar market, um, you know, sort of like come into this price squeeze here, pretty sort of like um, congested choppiness, you know, as I was just saying before, there's been a lot of consolidation around. And now we've broken through that um, sort of like trend line structure. And we've seen that, that push down out of there. It's a nice bearish breakout. And um, we can see here that, that this level here is, is a like, previously significant level. And um, what's happening now is the market's come down, broken through that level, or we're tracing up. And now, like as we speak, the market's testing this um, key hotspot on the, on the chart, which I'm watching for bearish signal. So I'm, I'm just waiting for a bearish um, sell signal here, a reversal candle or something to form here. To, to get me in short because I believe if this area here um, does hold with resistive properties and, and push the market back down, reject higher prices, um, I think we're going to see some sort of downtrend develop out of here or some other larger bearish move. Um, so if we just pop over to the four hour chart, we can see um, and get rid of that trend line now because we don't need that anymore. Um, so we, we're seeing a push up now. So if this if this push up does remain intact and and price does like remain um, above this level, then there's nothing really to do. I'm I'm not going to buy into it. I'm I'm looking to sell here. I think the sell uh, opportunity would be um, really good here. If for some reason that the market does rally up and it it does want to sustain a bullish breakout, then I could look for retracements back down into this level and watch for any sort of like uh, buy signals that do develop off that level there. So that's my plan here at the moment for the pound New Zealand dollar. So fingers crossed we get a nice sell signal there. Hey everyone, so there's been a bit of progression here on the uh, pound New Zealand dollar trade idea. I did get an alert from my uh, battle station indicator um, that there was a one hour bearish rejection candle. So I've checked it out. So we'll just flick over to the one hour chart, bring that in focus. You can see the uh, battle station indicators highlighted that, you know, let me know that it's there. So I've decided to uh, trade the breakout. So we can see that the um, sell stop <clears throat> has been triggered here into a sell trade. Uh, I placed my stop above the highs there. And uh, basically if the market comes back up, breaks those highs, um, you know, scrap the trade, don't want to be in it anymore. And you can see uh, a lot of people don't do this. I leave a bit of a gap there between the high and the um, and the actual stop loss. And that sort of like zone there will accommodate for the spread. And we can see the spread here is uh, about seven to six pips, you know, pretty wide on the um, on this uh, cross pair, but I've left about that much there uh, just to accommodate for that. So there's no early uh, stop outs. <clears throat> so, um, Using the one hour chart as a bit of a bit more of an aggressive entry. I don't do this too often. I just going back to the daily chart. I just really like this area as a sell zone. I really like how this market's transitioning from uh, breaking all these technical points. And you know we broke that trend line. Uh, we've broken through this support level here. We come back up, tested it. Now we're getting that bearish price action there, right at that key hot spot. Uh, you know for, for selling. Uh, so. That's it. I've got a pretty tight stop loss there. I really like that. I'm, I'm in about um, I'm in about six hundred dollars risk here. Uh, nothing too significant, um, but there's plenty of reward here. I could probably make a few thousand um, if I hold hold this trade out, uh, and I'm going to do that. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully that we get a bearish closing day here too. That would be um, some 
that would be nice to uh, set the trade uh, off and that will leave a daily signal as well for anyone who wants to swing trade on the daily chart there as well get in sort of like a, but like i said the the entry i'm using is pretty aggressive uh, that's why i designed that um, the mt4 battle station indicator you can see it's loaded on my screen here um, and it's available to all the war, war room members it just helps um, you know if you want to keep you know your finger on the pulse of the market but you don't want to sit in front of the charts you know you don't want to sit here and scan hourly charts or the uh, four hour charts this thing will do it for you as you can see uh, it's marked a few other different candle patterns there that i've programmed in i won't get into that uh, here but i uh, just want to focus on this trade solely and uh, just show you how the indicator uh, will let you know it's not, not so much a you know buy on uh, Q sort of or buy or sell on Q sort of like indicator it's more like it lets you know something potentials there just so it gets your attention um, and you can come to the charts and, and just sort of check you know if if the if the pattern that's detected is worth trading or not and in this case I do think it's worth trading so I'm gonna uh, let this one roll out see how it goes and I'll come back with an update video very shortly for you hey everybody back with an update as promised uh, you can probably see uh, by first glance here that the trade worked out very well it certainly did and uh, here's my initial entry up here and um, we can see that there was a very nice move out of that I did tell you guys that there was um, potential for this move, if this trade was going to play out there was a potential for a move that could potentially make me uh, a couple of thousand so you can see this is my real account uh, no smoke and mirrors or tricks here uh, we can see there um, with go markets and um, you can see this trade did end up making me just over seven thousand dollars now my initial risk was about six hundred dollars and you know we're walking away just over seven thousand dollars here um, so that's about uh, that's about one to thirteen um, you know return on risk one to thirteen risk reward ratio so one to thirteen and you know that to put that in another way that's 1300 uh, percent you know return on investment now um the, uh, this is just a good opportunity to show you how powerful swing trading can be and you know why how, how much money you can actually make if you actually uh, get the discipline together to hold these trades open most of my money that i've made has been through trades that have, have been open that longer distance you know at least a week or more this trade has been open for about um, three weeks or so uh, I closed it um, I think it was yesterday and um, I've just had the time now to come in and, and conclude the video now um, a lot of traders really struggle with holding positions open uh, you know with the element of fear of losing profits and, and stuff like that but you know if you're in and out of the market at too high a frequency you end up like only taking small bite size amount profits where and but your risk is much more significant and you get that negative risk reward ratio con continuously occurring and that keeps chopping away at your account uh, it you know has a negative effect on your discipline and your, and your mentality um, I'm telling you these swing trades that you just set set up forget and let them go for a week or two um, you know it's it's so much so much better you know you just continue on with your life let these trades play out um, and just come back and and um, and tr basically pl um, plan the trade out and then you know trade the plan so my plan here was to let the trade run for as long as it can until I got a really good reason to um, exit the trade and, th and that's just been this week now so my reason for ex exiting is I, I almost thought uh, I was going to exit on that um, counter trend rejection candle there of this uh, support level uh, but I thought I'd leave it a little bit longer I thought maybe it'll just retrace up to the mean value and come back down uh, but the market did break back down and sort of like busted below that that um, weekly support level then it's uh, basically recovered quickly and come back straight straight up and now we're starting to see more bullish rejection candles develop there and then you know higher prices continuing to follow through so i thought okay uh, time to get out i uh, want to walk away with this with some profit and what i'm basically going to do here now is 
um, waiting for to see what happens on the next decent test here of the um, the mean value. You can see there's a bit of a um, resistance level through there. So any strong sell signals that occur here, I may consider you know getting back in and, and catching the next leg of this downtrend. But for now, uh, I'm out. Really happy with the trade and more so happy with myself for seeing the trade plan through and having the discipline to do so. And I yeah, just wanted to show you guys how good swing trading really is if you have the patience and discipline. But you also do need good chart reading uh, skills to, to be a good swing trader. So you, could to, you have to be able to read the, the chart, read the market structure, you know, read the price action. You know, that's, what, that's basically what I'm all about. Just uh, with these candlestick charts, not too much going on here. You can see I just use uh, some moving averages here to, to plot out a mean value for a reference point. And uh, that's basically it. I don't need anything else. So you just focus on becoming a really good uh, chart reader and you'll become a, um, a good swing trader. Uh, so if you guys are interested in getting out away from these like high frequency systems, uh, if they're doing your head in and you want to make the switch to swing trading or price action and you want to learn to you know, improve your chart reading skills, you know, come over to my site. I've got plenty of information uh, on there for you to check out. Okay, that's it from me this week. Thank you very much for watching the video today. I hope it was helpful and even inspirational. I hope it does inspire you to get involved with swing trading. You know, it's a much uh, more stress-free kind of uh, trading approach, trading methodology. So best of luck on the charts this week and uh, hopefully I'll see you around on the site and I look forward to trading with you.